It's full of meat in here. I get the option of two dishes. Five o'clock. Right on happy hour. Look how that worked out. <laughs> Cheers. We want to go and check out the shop because there's a traditional drink called Cherba Mache. Found ourselves at the beautiful restaurant here in Palermo, Soho called Sands. We're Craig and Kirsty, a full-time travel couple sharing our adventures here on YouTube. We upload new travel content every week from different parts of the world. So please subscribe and welcome to the adventure of Tide Not Travellers. We're exploring the eastern side of Buenos Aires, um, an area called Puerto Madero and we've come to this ecological park called Costanera and on our left hand side you can see these beautiful wetlands um, there's some paddle boats that have just been going out across them as well I don't know if they take people on tours but it looks pretty cool yeah and the temperature in the city today has cooled down drastically so got a jacket on and a nice hot coffee there's some markets on just outside so I was able to grab a coffee on the way in and yeah, this place is free entrance, so we thought why not come check it out and have a little stroll around in this nice cool 22 degree temperature we've got going on today with a bit of cloud. <laughs> <laughs> this ecological park, it's on the banks of the River Plate or the Mar del Plata. If we get over that far, which I'm hoping to do, it will be our first view of uh, the River Plate. So let's go and see. So as you come into the entrance of Costanera Ecological Park, there's a visitor centre and we have found this really cool map and made a little plan of action. We are going to walk up here so that we can see the view of the River Plate and this section and then come down here so that we can see these two sides and then make our way back here and head off to our next destination. I should just point out that we have just seen a sign that says to keep an eye out for some snakes. It's in Spanish, so I don't know if they're deadly, but what I do know is we're not in the safety of cold little Finland where the snakes were all friendly to us, so we're going to keep our eyes peeled today. <laughs> Let's go. A relatively short 20 minute walk and we've reached the viewpoint of the Mar del Plata, the River Plate. It's our first sighting of the river since we've been here in Buenos Aires. I can't see the end of it, it's huge and it kind of looks like a creamy milky colour and so calm. Apparently, I read somewhere it's the widest river estuary in the world. Wow. You can't actually see Uruguay on the other side, it's that wide. Maybe on a slightly clearer day you can see the other side but out in front of us there's like a picnic and benched area so and there's nice. some toilets over there. Really nice wooden decking everywhere, it's really nicely put together. I've seen loads of people running and cycling around here and it's just a really nice place. I definitely think if you live in the city and you want to be somewhere exercising with some fresh air, this is a great spot to come to. We're really happy to come here because we're not city people and we've been here for about two weeks now, right in the city and it's noisy, so this is like a day of... <sighs> You're never going to head back into the city later, but <laughs> it's nice to be out in nature again. Well, I feel surrounded by what, by what I don't know, but can you hear all this? Wow, it's definitely very ecological and alive in this place. <laughs> they let you know they're here. <laughs> Our way out of Costanera Ecological Park and it has genuinely felt like we have been completely away from the city for the last hour or two. Even now I've got nature <laughs> making squawky noises next to me. <laughs> but yeah, so we're heading out now and we're going to go and see Puerto Madero. We've made our way over to the main Puerto Madero area and you can see it's like a, a redeveloped Docklands area. I don't know if you can see just above us, but there's huge old cranes. There's some huge skyscrapers around here, a lot of development going on. Um, and it's a bit of a wind tunnel, as maybe you can see. And we can hear some cool music coming over from La Boca in the background. Yeah, La Boca is just to the south of here. Yeah, and that's reminding us of our fun day in the colourful La Boca. I'll link it above so you can have a look if you missed that video. We're going to have a walk along the waterfront and look for some lunch because we are pretty hungry 
and off in the distance in front of us I can see the iconic bridge of Puerto Madera called uh, I can never remember the name of it <laughs> I've just looked at it twice it's called like Puente de la Mujer it's a very modern looking white bridge with a cool architectural style. Yeah, you see like miniature souvenir versions of it everywhere here. So we're like, before we go on our last day, let's go check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Craig's so happy with what he's just seen. We've just come across another Juan Bautista, which is the food outlet in San Telmo markets that I absolutely love. Yeah, because he did not stop going on and on about the chorizo sausage thing that he had there. Campero. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Gracias. It's quite predictable what happened next. We're back in Juan Bautista. <laughs> it's full of meat in here. I get the option of two dishes. So we're here because Greg loves it. But I do like it too. The very nice ladies outside were bringing people in because it's a brand new branch yeah. of Juan Bautista. It's only been here for one month. And the menu is a bit bigger. Yeah. And I'm trying to use my phone to translate it from Spanish to English so that I can pick one of the two vegetarian dishes. But it's really cool in here, done in a very rustic wooden style. In both of their branches, they have a huge crackling fire. Something we've noticed a lot when we're eating here in Buenos Aires is that they bring out some bread before your meal, and there's always this little pink dip. I don't know what it is, but look. I know it's got like milk in it, but instead of butter, it's like an actual dip. It's super tasty. So I got myself a plate of sweet potatoes with almonds and honey, which looks really nice. But all I would say is if you're vegetarian and you come to Buenos Aires, then you might often find yourself with uh, different varieties of a plate of potatoes for lunch, which, you know, is tasty, but not the healthiest. It's, just, it's quite tricky to get protein and veggie, but yeah, excited to try it. Very sweet, as you'd expect. <laughs> sweet potato and honey, pretty good. And it's the complete opposite end of the scale as a non veggie. You literally have all the options you want, there's so much choice. So I've gone for a pork sandwich, um, and it comes with chimichurri sauce, and it's also got grilled vegetables, grilled red onion in there as well. I'm gonna try and pick this up. You can't go wrong with pork and barbecue sauce. It's so good. That was a lovely lunch. Juan Bautista never fails us. <laughs> <laughs> and we've just walked a little bit further along the quayside and there's plenty of other restaurants. There's a Panera Rosa, which we went to in Palermo on one of our first days. Kirsty really likes it there. Yeah. So we're going to have to go to one of those again to make up for taking Kirsty to Juan Bautista again. <laughs> We've come up towards the iconic bridge, but it looks very cool. It's really nice along here. There's a bit of street art both sides. There's huge tower blocks on one side. Yeah. And then on the other side, you've got some restaurants on the other side of the quayside there. And also, we've noticed we've come round the back of Plaza de Mayo. Yeah, you Plaza can see de Macho, which is just over there where I don't know if you can see, but it says Banco Patagonia. So we're going to go across the bridge as if we're heading towards Casa Rosada and exploring the other side of Puerto Madero. Maybe grab a coffee or something, keep us going. Yeah. <laughs> over the other side of the bridge where there is loads of bars and there's quite a cool vibe here so what we thought we might do is whilst we're here have a little chill grab ourselves a drink there with a nice view looking over the bridge and hopefully it might swing <laughs> I doubt it but the boat might come through you never know either way what a lovely view so it definitely feels like the place to be when you're here look what happened five o'clock right on happy hour Look how that worked out. <laughs> Cheers to Buenos Aires. And Puerto Madero. Cheers. Cheers. That's delicious. I see daiquiris. That's it for Puerto Madero. Off to our final place of the day. And it's a pretty cool one. Let's go.
We jumped out of the Uber and literally 30 seconds later the heavens opened so we ran for shelter <laughs> and managed to keep ourselves dry but we have arrived here in the bohemian district of Buenos Aires called Palermo. It's such a cool area in the city. And we're gonna have a little wander around, show you guys the vibes, although it's kind of turning into evening time now on a Saturday night so yeah. we're gonna get like that nighttime vibe going on and yeah. grab ourselves some dinner whilst we're here. Palermo Soho has so many different cool areas. There's so many restaurants, cafes, bars, shops and things to choose from. Every block and every corner has got so much choice and so many different smells as you're walking around here. So Craig and I are going to try and find some food here, but first of all, we heard about this traditional Argentinian drink called Cherba Mache. So we are going to go and find out a little bit more about that first before we go get ourselves some food and drink here in Palermo Soho. So we're inside the shop now and this lovely lady is going to explain to you much better than I can how it works and what it is. This is mate. This is a typical drink in Argentina. We drink it with our uh, family and friends. Uh, we share this with all. Nice. We only drink with one mate. <laughs> yeah, it's like a tea. This is Sherba Mate and we put this here and we try to heat up, remove the yeah, dust remove it. in this way. Okay, so just onto and your hand and then it mm -hmm. goes. And then hand. we clean it and then we have to make like a mountain here. Oh, so like against the side? Yeah, exactly. And, and then this is not the size for this mate, but I don't have other oh, straws. So you have different size straws for different <laughs> yeah. cups. <laughs> yeah. It's like uh, a science. <laughs> <laughs> and we put first a bit of uh, cold water, hydratar, hydrate the sherbet mate. Oh, to hydrate it. Yeah. And then we put the straw, but first we have to do this and then put. And we don't touch the straw. Wow. And then uh, we have to put hot water and then drink. If you want, you can uh, put uh, sugar or maybe other things like make the mate other taste. And we have uh, three types of uh, sherba mate: soft, middle, and strong. So the, yeah. ma the mate is the cup and the cherba is the herb. Uh huh, but all is mate. Okay. <laughs> so, after a lovely little talk about how cherba mate works from Sophia, um, we've now learned that it's pretty much very scientific and a very specific way of doing things. Different straws for different things. And of course, if you're going to have it hot and you drink out of a metal straw, you're going to burn your lips. So, there's different materials. Um, yeah, there's like so much paraphernalia and you can go from like quite affordable to quite expensive. So this one is a wooden matche cup and then there's also a nice metal aluminium one which is sort of one of the more basic ones and one of the more modern ones. This nice blue ceramic one which I quite like, it's nice and shiny but this is also a more modern take on the original cherba matche. You've got your more traditional pumpkin and wooden mix or I think it's just pumpkin. So yeah, I kind of like these. The traditional ones are really cool and they feel a bit more authentic. And depending on whether you have a ceramic one or a metal one or a pumpkin one or wooden one, it all obviously infuses the drink a little bit so you're going to get a slightly different flavour depending on what matcha you have. And um, she was telling us as well that uh, she has like friends who kind of like get headaches if they don't have it and it was like, sounds a lot like tea and coffee in other parts of the world where <laughs> If you're deprived of your caffeine, you, you're kind of just a bit addicted to it. So, yeah, who knew? I had no idea about Cherub Mache before I came here. And yeah, Craig and I definitely pronounced it wrong the first time we read it. <laughs> I think I found the one I would choose if I was living here in Argentina. I love it. It's got butterflies. It's got this cool little city bike, flowers coming off of it. It says Amor, which I know means love. I don't know what else that says, but... <laughs> So 
So Sophia was just explaining to me that before COVID, it was really normal for everyone to have their own mad shake up and people in the families would just drink and pass around as like a normal sociable thing to do. And then obviously since COVID, now everyone has their own cups, uh, which is a shame because it's kind of taken away from that sharing tradition. But she did say that recently that it's going back to the old ways and people are starting to share again. So let's hope that that's the same all around the world, that things go back to their old ways. <laughs> So we found ourselves at a beautiful restaurant here in Palermo, Soho called Sands. It's right on the junction between Armenia and Costa Rica. The street names around here are so cool as well. It's really cool. It's kind of like the best of both worlds. We're kind of inside with our own nice table, but we've got this huge window looking out onto the street with the intersection between the two streets. And yeah, we can people watch, get some fresh air, like these lights, although I'm getting scared they're going to knock me out. <laughs> but yeah, excited for some food. This place looks really good. Keeping with the theme of traditional Argentinian drinks, I've got myself a glass of Malbec and Craig has got himself a nice mojito. Cheers! Cheers! Oh, that's so good. It's definitely true. These Argentinians do know what they're doing with their Malbec. So our food has just arrived and it looks incredible. So we ordered um, halloumi which has got honey and lemon and lime herbs with it which is really nice. And I have ordered myself marinated chicken breast. It's come with um, fresh vegetables, there's carrots and there's onions in there as well. This just looks so fresh and so tasty. It smells awesome. And I've ordered myself what I thought was just going to be a little salad with some um, pesto, avocado and egg. But there's like full on cheese on toast and a load of salad and egg which looks amazing. This is like a feast that we've got going on here. So yeah, we're going to tuck into this and we hope you've enjoyed the video and our tour of Puerto Madero and Palermo Soho today. And we will see you on the next video very soon. We're about to go and travel around the whole of Argentina. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe so you can see our next adventure. Thanks for watching. Join us next time as we leave Buenos Aires on an 18-hour bus journey to Iguazu, where we explore the famous waterfalls in Argentina and Brazil. For daily updates on our travels, head over to our Instagram at TideKnotTravelers, or for exclusive behind-the-scenes content, we'd love you to join us on Patreon. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. I thought we'd seen a lake today, even though I called it a river. I don't know what did I I was gonna say River Lake then <laughs> the, the plate lake the lake plate what did I Yeah so it's definitely river plate not lake plate or whatever I just called it. Wow And it's the complete opposite end of the scale, different what am I trying to say? Before we go and grab some dinner we're gonna go and check out this cool <laughs> shop. <laughs> You need to speak up a bit anyway. Before we go and grab ourselves some dinner, we want to go and check out this cool shop because we've seen and heard and heard. <laughs> heard? A tradition.